Okay students, today you're going to show character feelings in your fiction story using dialogue, inner thoughts, and actions. So dialogue means when characters are speaking, inner thoughts are whatever thoughts the characters are having in their heads, and actions are things that the characters does. So we can show how our characters are feeling through these things. So the next thing I need to do is think about what I've written so far. So I'm looking at my story arc and I wrote about how Rose went horseback riding with Breezy, Breezy Bucks, and now I'm going to write about this part. Rose won't eat dinner, she can't stop thinking about Breezy Bucking. So Rose is feeling really nervous about riding again, so I really want to show that she's feeling nervous through dialogue, character actions, and inner thoughts. So now I need to read the last few sentences that I wrote. Suddenly, Breezy bucked. Rose held on tight, her heart pounding in her chest. She looked down and saw a green snakes slithering through the grass. Breezy continued to buck. So I think if, ner if, Breezy, if uh, Rose was feeling really nervous, she might say like, calm down, girl. Rose said nervously. So already I'm going to get a pen and I'm going to underline parts where I'm showing character feelings. So I'm going to get this purple pen. So I'm already showing that she's nervous because she said it nervously. I also know that when I get really nervous, my hands kind of get sweaty. So I'm going to write her palms dripped with sweat. So again, I'm showing that Rose is feeling nervous. The snake slithered away. Rose took a deep breath. She got off breezy and they both walked home. After Rose put Breezy in her stable, she washed her hands and went to the dinner table. So I know that when I feel really nervous and upset, I kind of lose my appetite and sometimes it's hard for me to eat. So that's exactly what I'm going to have happen in this part. And I'm going to make it so that Rose's mom made her her favorite dinner and Rose won't really eat it, so it really shows that she's feeling nervous and upset about what happened. It's spaghetti. Your favorite. Rose's mom, Laura exclaimed as she placed a heaping bowl of noodles and red sauce on the table. Rose served her.
herself some noodles and marinara sauce. She took a few bites, then pushed her food around her plate. So I'm showing that she's feeling upset and that's why she's not eating her favorite dinner. Why aren't you feeding? Laura asked. You love spaghetti. I just don't feel very good, murmured Rose. Can I lie down? So here I'm also showing that Rose feels upset because she murmured and she's saying that she doesn't feel good and wants to lie down. She wants, and now I'm going to turn the page. Okay. Said Laura in a concerned voice. Rose walked to her room and lay down on her floral duvet cover. She picked up a magazine and tried to read it, then put it down. So again, I think she, when I get upset about something, it's sometimes hard for me to focus. So I think this is showing that Rose is feeling upset. It's hard for her to focus on anything, but she just keeps thinking about what happened that day. I wish I could stop thinking about Today, she whispered. So this dialogue shows that Rose is still feeling upset. Rose tossed and turned. She eventually fell asleep. So the fact that she was tossing and turning and having trouble falling asleep at first also shows that she's feeling upset. Okay students, so today I would like you to set a timer for 30 minutes. Make sure that you look at your story arc and you know where you are in your story. You read the last few sentences or a paragraph of what you wrote last time and then spend 30 minutes writing 
Really do your best to show a character feeling using dialogue, inner thoughts, and actions. Okay, bye.